It's uh, it's homecoming season, which seems late, doesn't it? I never uh, remember I what month know. it's supposed uh, to be. That's about right. Yeah. yeah. Homecoming. Yeah. This yeah. late? Yeah. I mean, school started mm-hmm. a while ago. It seems. Yeah. Like I've got my college homecoming will be this upcoming month. Yep. Yeah. Or upcoming week, I should say. How long before you're too old for that, Seabass? I mean, uh, well, the well, college homecoming is actually it's kind of cool. You don't like you don't go and rage. You go, you tour the old frat house. You know, you go. That's the only game you go to. Yeah. Uh, if you, you have kids, you bring them around. Yeah, schools across the country, they're hosting their, you know, big events, football games, pep rallies, right. dances, all that kind dances. of stuff. Um, our buddy Tim, DJ yeah. Tim Martinez, yeah. Oh, yeah. His, his daughter was her senior homecoming, and it's been a big thing about, like, the dress has right. been a big issue. Oh. Sure. Because all the dresses that all the girls are wearing now are essentially 90s. Yeah. You know? I know what you mean. Like, they're yeah. really short. they got the slip that comes way up. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, it's like the, stripper mm-hmm. dresses. Exactly. Yeah. But they're and in they're, style. They're, they're very Oh, well, then yeah. by all means, let's all just be sluts. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter to Tim. That doesn't mean Tim. you're a slut because you uh, wear it, the um, dress that's in so style. Here, I'll show you the picture of the, uh, of the dress that uh, Tim's daughter wanted to wear to homecoming. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's if not that's, what she ended up wearing. That, yeah, that does uh, not even no. look like a dress. That looks like uh, a, that looks like a nighty. Looks like Ravy's negligee. That that's what I wear. But, right. That to bed. I'm not saying it's right, but that is in style. Yes. Yes. But you know that's. But the, that goes back to the if all mm-hmm. your friends are doing it, does it mean that like, mm-hmm. like I, I it doesn't matter. You know what this goes back to yeah. is the stupid ass Kardashians, and they have normalized <laughs> wearing underwear as outerwear. Mm. These yeah. little skims, like everyone is in biker, what used to be called bicycle shorts, which right. were just for that, and or going to the ba- uh, going to the beach, right. yeah. is now every day, all the time. So you know, and Tim's not a total prude. He's like, look, he goes, it doesn't have to like come down below your knee. He goes, but just you know, yeah, but so, this. So that's that's what she ended up. Yeah, with. she looks lovely. Yeah, yeah she does. Oh, that's perfect. It's very nice. Yeah. It looks great. Uh, some normal by the numbers for all the kids who are skipping the dance this year or didn't get a date. I thought this was interesting. Only forty four percent of adults ever went to a homecoming dance with somebody without somebody like went to the homecoming dance at all only 44 percent went and only 52 percent ever went to a prom 42 yeah 42 for homecoming i'm sorry 44 Mm -hmm. for homecoming 52 percent went to a prom well that's really low i didn't do either god i went to well so many proms yeah that's because you were in the i was stuck in the boarding school and then even Mm -hmm. my even my senior year when I was back at uh, yeah, public high school. Yeah, you would have had school. senior prom. Yeah, but I was working at the radio station already. And so I remember like prom night, I was working. You spin- wouldn't take a night off? No. Just spin these tunes. Yeah. No, I, was, no, I wasn't <laughs> doing that. I was doing like, I was doing bitch work. Like, I was going like, to say, uh, you yeah. probably weren't even on the air. No, no, I was just doing bitch work. Yeah. I went to all the dances, but I don't remember homecoming dance being a big deal. Me neither. And then- um, Homecoming court, homecoming went, king I remember and queen. that was a big deal. Yeah. I went to four proms, invited to six. Nice. But only one hell. That's yeah. a lot of promise. You can yeah. remember that you were invited to six? I'd be like, uh. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It was a big deal. I couldn't go. It's called being yeah. popular. Look into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Two thirds went to at least one high school dance growing up. That's But it. not necessarily homecoming or prom. Yeah, I went. I remember going to junior high, a junior high dance, never a high school dance. Wow, you missed out. Yeah, dude, well, again. <laughs> you really mm-hmm. missed out. Yeah. They were fun nights. Yeah, I thought they were fun. fun. Yeah. We had one of our proms at the mall. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> they Heck couldn't yeah. get a venue for some reason. All right, so mm-hmm. let, me, let me ask, because like, the, the perception is that you get drunk and you have sex. Hell yeah. Right? Pretty much. Yeah. And so is that like the reality, or is that just like kind of what? Well, yeah, you get a limo. I think it's definitely yeah. the reality. Yeah, you get drunk. Because the perception versus reality to like a bachelor party is like, dude, we're all, all my bros are going out. We're gonna get laid. Oh yeah. And we're going to the strip clubs and better. Like, it is mm-hmm. nothing like that. Right. For for most, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen for anybody. I think but, the perception yeah. for prom is pretty accurate. I think yeah. the the drinking was more of the after parties for prom because they were strict on it. Oh yeah, not at prom. Like, not at prom. No, I'm saying no. like prom night though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was always yeah they had an open bar. There was, at prom. Free, no, there <laughs> there was yeah. free game in the limo. Yeah, there were always two right. or three idiots that would overdo it in the limo. Yep, and they mm-hmm. thought they'd get away with it, and no, they didn't. No. Right, because right. they couldn't last because they're noobs. But then everybody was hooking up too. Like yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, looking back at my proms, my parents were so strict as parents. And yet at prom, I was allowed to get the limo, go to a hotel afterwards. What? Yeah. Spend the night in a hotel. Yeah, you bro. were? We yeah. were just, we would fill the bathtub with ice and booze, and that was the bar. 
And then we all stayed at a hotel. Everybody's hooking yeah. up. It was debauchery. Yeah. I can't believe was, that yeah, the parents no... would let the kids stay at a hotel. I know. <laughs> wow. It was fun. Con- considering in every other aspect, so strict, but prom night? Yeah, go to yeah, hotel. Go Who cares? Wild. Whatever. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you we guys a- get late on prom night? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Isn't that what? Yeah. American, well, not American Pie, but. I mean, why even go you if you don't? Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, isn't that yeah. American Pie, guys? I mean, that's just. <laughs> I mean, that is just. I was kind of hoping pie. as a. <laughs> <laughs> now as a dad, I was probably like, oh, then maybe that's just perception, oh, not no. really reality. As a, oh, as a young man, what would you want? Reality. Yeah. Uh, as a young man, of course, I know, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> what you want and what actually happens are two different things Yeah, you'll high-five your son on prom night and try to keep your daughter locked up on prom night. Yeah. And he comes home, you ask him to smell his finger. Oh, uh, <laughs> see, uh, <laughs> you, gone too far. Here, here's You're some of the stats from this, too. Uh, if you went to the prom, did you slow dance with somebody? 84% did. <laughs> 27% said they grinded with somebody on the dance floor. <laughs> Slow dancing was literally just hugging and just swaying yeah. back and forth. Yeah. So uh, 74% boring. went out to eat at a restaurant. 42% drank uh, alcohol on prom night. 42? Yeah. Liars. Liars. Mm. <laughs> They're adults now. What do they have to lie about? Liars. You saying less or more? More. Way more. I would, uh, there's oh. some squares. Yeah, so I would 42%? say 90%. Percent? Yeah. I would say um, at least 80. 60% went to an after party. Mm-hmm. 29% hooked up, had sex that night. And 15% said they got in trouble with the cops on prom night, probably oh, from that after oh. party. Mm. Or from drinking or something. Yeah. Didn't have any run ins with the police. The only after parties I want to go to because I lived uh, like an hour plus from a beach, everybody wanted to go, let's go to the beach and have a bonfire. Oh, oh, God. How annoying oh. would that be? <laughs> Hell no, in I ain't a, going out uh, there. In a we dress and in a yeah. tuxedo. At, yeah, at night, Charles everybody's Stone. drinking oh, and they're driving the home. N- uh, no, oh, I'm no. not going to do that. We got a limo that took us to the beach after prom, and we all changed into like sweatpants and stuff. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Hi. Yeah, but I, I'm sure like you closer. were closer, but hour plus for me, I was like, no way. No yeah. We're doing a local way. party. Right. It was yeah, way more fun. I daddy to hook him up with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do it on my own. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I was just talking to a friend of mine the other day about the college thing because they were um, they went to a college football game. I'm like, man, you know what? Again, I really feel like I just missed out on the whole social aspect of college. Like, I don't regret not going for the education part and the degree part because mm-hmm. he's turned out great. He makes tons of money. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I've worked out okay. Things have uh, gone sure. pretty well in my life mm-hmm. from a career and money standpoint and everything else. But I do feel, man, that would have been really cool to have, like, looking back. Because sure. everybody has those stories. Yeah, or even really... these, like, homecoming and prom night stories. Right. It, it just never went. I saw it, like, I have no frame of reference on any well, of it. There's a, a blueprint for this. Yeah, old school. You can come yes. you can get a house near a college. Oh. And you and, like, Tim, TJ Tim Martinez. That's, yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what I want my life friend. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It would rule. It's a hindsight thing, dude. It's not like, uh, yeah. No way, do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now. Just Drake go old school. You could start no, a dude. frat. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you go cool. to therapy, do you talk about this? No. That it has oh, affected you in any way? No, because it hasn't affected me. It hasn't? I don't, no, well, I don't think so. You I think you, you brought it up yeah. a few times, though. Well, no, because like. Over the years. When, when we it talk comes about. high school, at least. Yeah, when we talk about this kind of stuff, I don't. I can't add anything to that conversation because I don't have the experience or that. I don't have that perspective. I think you would have hated prom, though. That's the reason. You I hate mean, dressing up. Why would you hate prom? He hates I don't like to dress up. up. That's Doesn't true. Like but those in those days, he would, he would have looked very good in a suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, but also. In those days. Thanks for Because he's quite <laughs> yeah. thin. Before he let himself yeah, yeah, yeah. go. Quite yeah. thin. No, he would have enjoyed it because he would and have ran a, with hot chicks. He would have a date. Yeah, that's yeah. what, I'm, what I was about chick. to say. He would have a hot chick with him. It was a hot chick. He would enjoy it. It's not like he was going stag. No. Right. Yeah. I I think he would. Don't think about modern day loser you. Yeah, think about 18 year old you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, just get a DeLorean. You're good. Uh,